Another day, another adventure. Where are we headed today? Ugua. Ugua. We'll have to check the pronunciation on that. But it's a little small town, 15 minutes away from Lagos, right? Yep. Um, so we're just checking it out, see what it has to offer. And then we'll check back in with you. The Algarve is located in the western region of the Algarve and it used to be a form of fishing village. Now it's mainly popular for tourists and runoff tourism. It has a really nice beach there called Praia de Bergao and it's located alongside the cliffs and has approximately 250 residents and it's 22 minutes away from Lagos. Our next stop was Salima, which is the next town on the west coast. Um, it's situated in the Cost of Ascension National Park and it's a protected area of outstanding natural beauty. Uh, Salima has a long, gorgeous beach and also is great as a stop off on the way over to Sagres. Got ourselves two books. What'd Not you get? sure what they are, but we'll see if I even read them. <laughs> we are now headed to Sagres. See that right there? That is the most western part of. Europe, mainland Europe. We'll take you there. Follow me. Sagres is the southernmost point of the European continent and it's actually the most beautiful window to the Atlantic Ocean. In the ancient world it was actually the last explored point by the Romans and they named the place the end of the world. A fun fact about Sagres is that it's uh, the famous beer, the Portuguese beer, Sagres beer, is actually named after this small fishing village which is a great beer for you in Portugal. You've got to try it. It's 100% natural product, no preservatives and tastes amazing in summer days. So we made it to Sagres. Finally. Finally, and we are now at a place called Laund Laundry Lounge. So this place is really cool because you can do your laundry and then you can also lounge. So we got- And eat and yep, drink. and eat. So we're getting some breakfast here. And you won't believe this, but they do not have Sagres on the menu. Sagres beer. What's up with that? It is what it is, I suppose.
actually Sagres in Sagres. Sagres table. Sagres in Bola. Sagres table. Sagres out. Good morning. We are off to the west coast this morning. West coast of Portugal, yeah, where the Algarve and the west coast meets. So we are going to check out the beach there, I think. It's not too hot today, so um, we'll see what we get into this morning. Praia de Arafana is a beautiful beach that stretches for a half mile in a slight seashell shape. This shape along with the cliffs provide beachgoers shelter from extreme winds and is a great surfing location. We made it to the beach. Mark has a drone out, um, so hopefully we get some nice footage from above. There's a bunch of servers here, um, and I think it's just a perfect spot for beginners because the waves aren't too big, but they're just big enough. And then there's like barely any wind today, but the sun is out. It's perfect. Al Jazeera is an off-the-beaten track destination for the Algarve region of Portugal. It remains relatively untouched by tourism because its location is not quite as famous as Lagos or Faro. There are no resorts or cruise ship docking, so the beaches here are quiet, unspoiled, and all-around beautiful to immerse yourself in. Although the things to do in Al Jazeera are low-key, they are interesting for those who enjoy slow travel in a quieter town.
We are in Al Jazeera and look at the stunning views. From the goats. There's goats down here too, like they're scaling the mountain. But the view is phenomenal. The water, the rocks, chef's kiss. Look at this guy just chilling on top of the mountain. Look at these guys. Look at a baby kid. No fear for these kids. So this part of the Algarve is like the west coast, so it's like totally untouched. So as you'll see from that video, it's, it's like complete opposite to the other parts of the Algarve. It's like so wild and rural. I think we love it, don't we? Well, it's like completely different and it's just... Like no hotel chains, there's like barely any like kind of buildings or restaurants and stuff. It's just wild, isn't it? Wild coastline, yeah. beautiful. And then there's so many hikers and surfers. And it's just more chill, I think. Chill vibes out here. Definitely. Highly recommend.